service of the Lord To take care of God's creation And be an example of all the nations You and I are being called In the service of the Lord To take care of God's creation And be an example of all the nations Sing together, all the children, great and small. For we are part of God's creation, part of His great plan. Come and join and sing together, all the children, great and small. For we are part of God's creation, part of His great plan. service of the Lord, to take care of God's creation, and be an example of all the nations. Come and join and sing together, all the children, great and small, for we are part of God's creation, part of His great plan. Come and join and sing together, all the children, great and small. For we are part of God's creation, part of His great plan. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Children, great and small, for we are part of God's creation, part of His great plan. Hello, boys and girls! We welcome all of you to our fifth episode of Friday Friday! How are you, Pastor Jim? I feel great. How about you, Pastor Vera? I feel good as well. How about you kids? Wow, it's nice to know that you are having a great time this week. Last week, we enjoyed listening to the story of the boy who gave his two fish and five loaves of bread to help Jesus feed 5,000 people. Hey kids, can you still remember the finger play about this story? Can we do it together? One, One boy, boy had two, two fish and five loaves of bread. He shared them with Jesus and lots of people were fed. We also enjoyed yummy treats that we also shared with our families. Today is a very special episode because today culminates our whole month of being together here in Vacation Church School. Time flies so fast, Pastor Jimmy. And indeed, the four Fridays that we were together made us enjoy knowing God and His goodness and love together. I'm so excited for our episode today, Pastor. Ray. Yes, me too, Pastor Jimmy. Now kids, are you ready? Let us now begin this episode with an opening prayer with the Satilian family. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the good day that you gave us. We pray that you protect everyone against the COVID pandemic. Bless and protect each parent and all the children. We pray for the complete 
for the complete healing, healing of our land. Of our land. May, May you bless, you bless our, church, our church, the church workers, the church workers and members as well. And members as well. Be with all your people. <laughs> Be with all your people. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray. We pray. Amen. Amen. others from the COVID-19. You have been with us for the past four episodes and you are still with us now that we are on our fifth and final episode of Pray Day Friday. Thank you very much. Yes, we are on our final episode of Pray Day Friday and it is but fitting that we cap our vacation church school with a summary of the lessons from episode one to four. We have chosen a scripture verse that will help us sum up our lessons. Here is Shema and her family to read us the scripture. Here is the Bible, words of God, full of stories for you and you and you and us to listen to. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of 1 John, 
chapter 4 verses 7 to 12. God's love and ours. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. Here is what love is. It is not that we love God. It is that He loved us, sent His Son to give His life to pay for our sins. Dear friend, since God loved us this much, we should also love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us. His love is made complete in us. May the Lord bless us upon the reading and hearing of His holy word. Wow! That is a powerful Bible verse, short but direct. Dear friends, let us love one another. For love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. You know, Teacher Melody, I learned that the things I have been doing, I did because I love God and because Jesus instructs us to do so. Indeed, Cohen. Can you tell us the things you are doing as an expression of your love for one another? Well, for starters, I help my parents take care of my young brother, Ken Ken. It gives my mom and dad time to rest and do other things. With the songs I sing to my brother Ken Ken, I also teach him about Jesus. That's good, Cohen. What else do you do to show people that you love them? In this time where we are on home quarantine, Due to the pandemic, I helped our church produce Pray Day Friday to bring the good news of Jesus to children and their families who are also on home quarantine. And I made some thank you cards for our frontliners too. That is good, Cohen. Your thoughtfulness and gratefulness express God's love to your parents and the frontliners. I am happy to know that Teacher Melody, so watching over my younger brother is an expression of God's love to my family and I am God's instrument? Yes, Cohen, you are God's instrument of love. I know of many other children who follow Jesus' command to love one another. And by doing so, are God's instruments of love. Remember the parable of the Good Samaritan? Now let us listen to some children who will share the acts of kindness they and their family have done to help the needy, especially in this time of pandemic. God loves you. Can you give proof why God loves you? He gave me this beautiful world to live in and my friends and family. Do I know why God loves me? Yes, God loves me because the Bible tells me so. The Bible is full of stories and some of them we learn them from the VCS and those 
little stories are God's creation, the, the Good Samaritan, Noah and the Ark, and feeding the 5,000. And the last one we are about to learn or we learn. And that's why God loves us, not just me, but you, you, and all of us. Thank you! Yes! Because God loves us, He made the, the animals that are big and small. Some live at land, some live at water, while well, some are small at water, while well, some live at the sky. Well, some live at the ocean and a land. And God made us a wonderful family to take care and buy us food and help us. Yes, because He loves everyone. Jesus loves me because He died for my sins. And He provides me and my family with good health. Because he made me and he gave me mama, papa, Ipri, and Lolo. Yes. yes! Because he wanted a family. A family? What's in a family? Love. Love? Yes. Like? Helping out. Helping out. Helping out each other? Yes. yes. Everyone in the house. Okay. Yes, I know God loves me because He's been there for me my whole entire life and He's also blessed me ever since I was born. How about you? Kevin? Yes, because He made us and He knows that we're all unique. I am obedient to God by trying to learn his words every day by reading our devotional. Right, Mom? Right, Frankie. We do read our devotionals every night. And after that, what do we do? We always pray every night. That's right. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 1, Children, Obey your parents, for the Lord, for this is right. So, we obey God by helping people. Yeah! How are you obedient to God? Helping and caring and sharing. I pray and worship and follow Him. I pray to Him every day and talk to Him every day. I read the Bible and try to do what it says, even though it is hard. Remember, Mommy, um, that guy we, we found? Um, remember, he had no arm here, and I gave him some bread? Yes, I do remember that. Ooh, did you feel like you were the Good Samaritan? A little bit. <laughs> Kiss and hug. Very good. How can you share your love to make other people happy? Share the toys to our neighbors. I be nice and kind and patient to others. How about you, Kelly? I treat them good and play with them mostly. In this time of COVID-19, you have to wash your hands. That's showing love to your neighbors because you're stopping the coronavirus travel. We gave rice and money to the poor people in the street. Please support my family and their friends for giving rice. Uh-huh. 
Are you happy with that? Yeah. How do you feel when whenever you give or share to people? Good. You feel good. Helping mommy? Okay. Our family brought groceries for the garbage collectors and security guards. Like Mama and she she gave bread and rice to the Iguas bas, Basuhero. We gave food to the poor. Okay. We gave food and prayed for all of them. My family and I shared um, PPEs, food and masks, and alcohol, and my artwork. Give them food. We gave them bananas. We share our stuff and our food. Okay, go. Can I help you? Yeah, sure. This way. Uh, you, you water that plant. Be nice and always love your neighbor and always be patient. I share food to them so they won't starve. I share my my, my best friend a doll. A doll? Okay. And 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 we shared um food to the frontliners. Okay, what kind of food did you share to the front line? Rice and bread. We gave them food to eat and I shared some toys for the poor children in the streets. Hi, I'm Tori. Like the young boy in the feeding the 5,000. It's just like when my classmates don't have any snacks and I give my some of my snacks to them and even my Dutch mill and I don't know where's my Dutch mill anymore and also just like when out when my classmates are are after school we play and then if we have free time and mommy and daddy is not there yet by the gate we can play and then I can get ice pops with my friends and we share bye thank you my clothes and my shoes and some of my toys okay so thank you Frankie it seems as if you've learned so much during this VCS thank you UCCP and everyone behind this Bye! Bye, guys! Great job! God will be happy indeed. You are spreading God's life in this pandemic time. That's a double thumbs up for a good deed. Now, a mommy will tell or show us how her family follows Jesus' instruction to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Here she is! Showing love to our neighbors is probably one of the most beautiful acts anyone can do during this trying time. As stated in Mark 12, 31, and it says, The second is this, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. Mike, Ellie, and I follow Jesus' commandment to love our neighbor as ourselves 
by giving food to those unseen frontliners who keeps our neighborhood clean and safe. And these are our garbage collectors and security guards. Because our little family consider that non-medical frontliners are heroes too. By doing so, we are modeling to Ellie important values and life lessons she'll adopt, praying that she will grow to be a kind, respectful, and most of all, a loving human being. And we how will you show your love to your neighbors? And then the kiss. Say bye bye. Bye. Our church obeys God's command to spread His love to everyone. Here is Pastor Kiki to show us how. Good morning, everyone. Do I look like a person in need? What do you think are my needs? There are many people who are in need today, and many of them don't have houses. The streets, the tricycles become their house. Cartons become their bed, and safety is not assured when they lie down to sleep. They don't have much food to eat, don't have much money to buy medicine, don't have much friends to talk with. Kids, have you seen needy persons lately? Do you know them? Of course, we don't know them, but God knows and loves them. God wants us to help them because they too are God's sons and daughters. Our church, in response to God's love, tries our best to share God's love to them by doing random acts of kindness. Many of our members gave bread, juice, coffee, milk, rice, cooked chicken, pancit, apples, oranges, biscuits, champorado with bulad, cakes, eggs, alcohol, and Cebuano Bibles. I have a question for you. The next time you see someone in need, what do you think is the best help you could possibly extend? Let us remember what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. God bless you and the people that will be blessed by your acts of kindness. Surely nothing compares to the joy in giving and the life-changing opportunity to be a messenger of God's love for all. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless. Our church shows us children how to be kind, caring, and loving to others as God commands us so it is easy for us to follow God's instruction. Because the church shows us how, and our parents and elders teach us. Look how the children and families help in God's work. Your cards bring God's love to our frontliners. That's it, kids. Let us love one another. For love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God.
that's about it today kids we thank all of you for being with us for five fridays the stories the crafts dances songs and the lessons we learned together made the vacation church school 2020 more meaningful and wonderful and we hope we continue to remember how god loves us and how much god cares for us our vacation church school 2020 for this year may be over but the time we spent together all this time will surely be cherished we look forward to seeing you soon, so stay tuned. I mean, we'll never know. It's time for us to end our episode for today. Let us now pray. I fold my hands and hold them high like a steeple in the sky. I fold my hands this special way for it is time for me to pray. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of your church. We thank you for the vacation church school that we have. Thank you for all our teachers and everyone who helped us in our vacation church school. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of children. And Lord, we thank you for the United Church of Christ in the Philippines who is always there to share your word to our children. Thank you for everything. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor Jim, indeed, VCS is a wonderful experience for all of us. And with it, we are thankful to God for His great love for all of us and for giving us the beautiful creation. And kids, always remember, we are created to become good stewards of God's creation. Remember kids to always stay home, wash clean, and pray always. See you soon! Bye!
part of God's creation, part of His grace. 